Hello, Alexers. This isn't another list of the same history-making women. And while Florence Nightingale, Joan of Arc, Amelia Earhart, Frida Kahlo, Oprah Winfrey, and Marie Curie have made an indelible mark on the world for sure, they're not who we thought we would bring to the table this time. Aluxers are looking for more than the mainstream, so here's a list of badass women you might not recognize who showed up and shook the world as we knew it. Drop some knowledge on these bright lights during dinner conversation and prove just how woke you really are. And remember, not all changes are good. Some are controversial and dangerous, but they certainly change the world. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 1. The Environmentalist, Wangari Maathai, 1940-2011 Professor Wangari Maathai was a mover and shaker and responsible for founding the Green Belt Movement. Her tireless efforts saw over 51 million trees planted in Kenya. Maathai was born in a rural village in the Nyeri district and went on to study in the US, Germany, and Nairobi and earned her PhD, the first woman in East and Central Africa to do so. This phenomenal woman was an inspiration, campaigning for women's rights and environmental conservation. She founded the Green Belt Movement in 1977, which wasn't just focused on planting trees. The objectives were to have women from rural Kenya generating income at the same time doing good for the environment, planting trees, combating soil erosion, eliminating deforestation, and restoring their sources of fuel that they use for cooking. In 2004, Maathai won a Nobel Peace Prize for her work in sustainable development, peace, and democracy, making her the first African woman to receive this accolade. Number 2. The Paleontologist, Mary Enning, 1799-1847 Dinosaurs, women, and the 19th century are not terms that would normally go together, but Mary Enning certainly changed that. In a time where people believed in the Fiji mermaid and placing a slice of raw meat on your face at night would reverse the signs of aging, it's easy to understand why the actual skeletons of dinosaurs might have had a few non-believers. Mary Anning's dad loved collecting fossils for fun, and Mary was often his sidekick on his excursions along Jurassic Coast, Lyme Regis in Dorset. When she was just 12 years old, her father discovered the piece of the first ichthyosaur, which Mary then dug up over the course of several months. She's credited for finding the first complete plesiosaurus, which many believed was fake because it was so unusual. Mary discovered, cleaned, prepped, analyzed, and identified her finds, which were then bought by male scientists who wouldn't credit her for the work. Even the scientific community ignored her contribution because, well, she was female. Number 3. The OG Travel Blogger, Isabella Bird, 1831-1904 if you're wondering why travel is in your blood and the need to explore runs deep in your soul, it's probably because of our predecessor, Isabella Bird. She caught the travel bug during a time women didn't really travel alone, and she spent the better half of the 19th century on the road. She rode horseback, hiked mountains, and peered into volcanoes across the globe, all while recording her travels in her books and photographs. She explored Tibet, Malaysia, India, America, Japan, Hawaii, China, Iran, and countless other countries during her life. Her travel snaps and writing were published, and she was the first woman to be made a fellow of the Royal Geographical Society, which only happened in 1904, a pretty big deal back in the day. Number 4. The Equalizer Emmeline Pankhurst, 1858-1928 a year before Isabella Bird was admitted to the Royal Geographical Society, Emmeline Pankhurst founded the Women's Society and Political Union. Members were called the Suffragettes, and their purpose was to gain women's voting rights in Britain. Mother of five children and wife to lawyer Richard Pankhurst, who was a great supporter of his wife's endeavors and an influential leader and power orator, Pankhurst was imprisoned 13 times in her fight to gain voting rights for women, with many women being arrested during their protests and resorting to hunger strikes before being released from jail. She sadly did not live to see her hard work come to fruition. She died the same year that the parliament gave women the right to vote, on the 2nd of July, 1928. And Alexus, did you know the real inventor of the atomic bomb was a woman? We'll tell you more about that shortly. Number 5. The Communicator, Sacagawea, 1788-1812 Shoshone interpreter Sacagawea was only 16 when she played a pivotal role as a member of the Lewis and Clark's Corp Discovery. 
The trip took place between 1804 and 1806, and Sacagawea traveled thousands of miles from Mandanharatsa villages in the Dakotas to the Pacific Northwest, all of this while carrying her newborn baby on her back. Her role was to act as an interpreter and to ease any suspicions of tribes they might encounter on the journey. The aim of the trip was to establish cultural contacts with the Native Americans. At 12 years old, she, along with several other Shoshone, were captured by the Haratsa. She was married off to Toussaint Charbonneau. It's unsure how that transpired, either a gain through gambling or a purchase from the Haratsa. In the early 20th century, the National American Women's Suffrage Association used her as a symbol of a woman's worth and independence. Number 6. The Physicist, Lise Mechner, 1878-1968 Being Jewish, female, and a woman scientist were all disadvantages that physicist Lise Mechner had to endure. Born in Vienna, Austria, Mechner had a love of math and science from the age of eight. Pre-1939, physicists believed nuclear fission impossible. The process of large atoms splitting into smaller atoms is what makes nuclear power plants and, yep, nuclear bombs a possibility too. Mettner proved them wrong and described the process as fission, providing a concrete explanation on how it was possible. She worked closely with Otto Hahn, but when it was time to publish the findings, he left her out of the papers because featuring a Jew and a woman he felt would end his career. However, when it came to backing his findings, he was unable to do so. She was repeatedly nominated for the Nobel Prize for Chemistry and Physics, but never won the award. Instead, Hahn was awarded the 1944 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for nuclear fission. Her exclusion was deemed unjust by many scientists, but at the age of 87, she was awarded the prestigious Enrico Fermi Award alongside, you guessed it, Hahn. Number 7. The Pilot Career Woman Bessie Coleman, 1892-1926 Career woman wasn't even a term back in the 1800s and early 1900s, but Bessie Coleman was certainly that. She was the first American woman to obtain an international pilot's license. And she got this license despite the fact she was forbidden into American flying schools because she was African American. So she had to work even harder to earn her license and flew to an entirely different country to do so. She traveled to France to get her pilot license and then went back to America only to encounter further racial and gender bias and was even refused permission to become a commercial pilot. Coleman turned to stunt flying and staged a public flight on the 3rd of September 1922, the first by an African-American woman. Huge crowds came to watch the spectacle and all the money raised at the event was used to establish an aviation school to train black pilots. And Aluxers, if women in business is your thing, check out our video on the top 10 richest women in the world. Number 8. The Family Planner, Marie Stopes, 1880 to 1958. If it wasn't for Marie Stopes, we would all be knee-deep in offspring. Let's face it, the combination of Tinder and no birth control would be a population explosion. Born in Edinburgh, Marie Stopes was an advocate of birth control and had some strong views on eugenics, which in its most basic form is aiming to improve genetic quality by excluding certain people considered inferior and promoting people deemed to be superior. All that controversy aside, it's thanks to Stopes that women worldwide have been given the opportunity of planned pregnancies. Number 9. The Programmer, Ada Lovelace, 1815-1852 Ada Lovelace conjures up images of silk scarves and feather boas, not numbers and algorithms, but this incredible woman, the only legitimate daughter of the poet Lord Byron, is considered the first computer programmer. Ada's mother ensured that she had a good education and didn't want to think that Ada could possibly be insane as her father was perceived. Her work on Charles Babbage's The Analytical Engine is what really got Loveless recognized. The engine was a mechanical, general-purpose computer and it was Loveless that recognized that the machine could do far more than mere calculations and wrote the first algorithm that could be used on the machine. It's for this algorithm that she is widely regarded as one of the first computer programmers in the world. Number 10. The Politician, Sirimavo Bandaranaiki, 1916-2000 we couldn't think of another role model as influential as Sirimavo Bandaranaiki, the world's first female prime minister. The year was 1960 and Bandaranaiki served three terms as PM for Sri Lanka, 1960 to 1965, 1970 to 1977, and again in 1994 to 2000. 
One of her main focuses in her social work was to improve the lives of women and girls in the rural areas of the country, and also started the Ministry of Women and Child Affairs. We're not saying that her career was without flaws, but she definitely inspired millions of women to realize that they can be anything, including Prime Minister. Number 11. The Geneticist, Rosalind Franklin, 1920 1958. Like Lisa Metner, Rosalind Franklin was never credited for her massive contribution to science. It was Franklin that took the X ray image of DNA that would inspire many more life changing innovations. Franklin obtained a doctorate in physical chemistry and later became a research associate in John Randall's laboratory at King's College in London. Here, she met Maurice Wilkins, who was also studying the DNA structure. Without her knowledge, Wilkins showed her photograph, known as Photograph 51, to James Watson and Francis Crick, who published her work in the journal Nature. That image was pivotal in deciphering the structure of DNA, but she got no recognition. She passed away four years before Wilkins, Watson and Crick received the 1962 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Number 12. The Feminist, Mary Wollstonecraft, 1759-1797 You might know her daughter better than you know Mary Wollstonecraft. Her daughter was Mary Shelley, author of Frankenstein. Wollstonecraft is regarded as the first feminist in Britain and she was all for the education and liberation of women. She was a writer and philosopher and her most famous work is called A Vindication of the Rights of Woman, published in 1792. Just before this book was published, France was seeing more equal rights for women and she longed to see that happen in Britain, but it wasn't to be. She wrote furious letters to her government about the atrocity, which was known as the Revolution Controversy. Today, she's a feminist icon and her works are still published worldwide. Number 13. The Leader, Cleopatra, 69 BC to 30 BC. Cleopatra may well be remembered for her beauty, but she was so much more than that. She spoke several languages, was well educated in math, philosophy, astronomy, and oratory. She allegedly had a voice that drew people in, and she was a born ruler. In 32 BC, Cleopatra herself led a fleet of Egyptian warships into battle against Octavian's navy, but they were no match and retreated. She formed many political alliances and was credited for running a kingdom well, despite many challenges that came her way. Number 14. The Activist, Josephine Butler, 1828-1906 Josephine Butler was way ahead of her time and fought relentlessly against the sexual exploitation of women. Butler lost one of her children, a six-year-old girl who fell off a balcony. The pain was so intense, she decided to go out and find someone whose pain was worse than hers, and it was this journey that saw her fighting for the oppressed. She spearheaded campaigns against child prostitution, sex trafficking, and state-licensed brothels. One of the many major achievements of Butler was her repeal of the Contagious Diseases Act. The act declared that any woman could be forced to undergo an inspection for venereal disease and be imprisoned for three months if positive, whereas the men could carry on as before and go on to affect more women, never having to undergo any form of testing. This was ultimately dropped. Another phenomenal achievement was in 1880, when Butler played an instrumental role in raising the age of sexual consent from 12 to 16, thereby protecting young girls from sexual abuse. She's hailed as an unsung heroine. Number 15. The Academic, Laura Bassi, 1711-1778. Earning a salary equal to men is still a plight women around the world are trying to achieve, but Laura Bassi managed to earn a top salary back in the 1700s. She was Europe's first female professor, the second female in the world to earn her Doctor of Philosophy, and the first female to earn a doctorate in science. The Italian-born academic was the first salaried woman in the University of Bologna, and amazingly at one point was the highest paid. Her legacy lives on in a 31-kilometer crater on Venus named after her. What's more, the Laura Bossi Scholarship is given out three times a year, and a research vessel bears the name Laura Bossi. And there you have it, Aluxers. Here we are at the end. Who do you think is one of the most inspiring women of our generation? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, a simple passing thought is your bonus today. You don't need to have invented something or be a genius at math to change the world. Small acts of kindness have a ripple effect, and by simply acknowledging and respecting every race, culture, gender, sexual orientation, and so on, we do change the world every single day.
Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.